CBT, creating the future. AI Konawe is yours. C. B. U. C. In my capacity as Chancellor of the Cape Peninsula University of Technology, I want to invite you to be part of the development of the state-of-the-art Food Technology Center, which will be the first of its kind in the Western Cape. I personally endorse this exciting new initiative of the university, and I recommend that you consider it as a great investment opportunity. And these are the reasons why. Firstly, the center will provide training facilities for food technology students who will receive comprehensive hands-on skills development, which will address our country's demand for more adequately trained food technologists. Secondly, the center will further house a food safety testing, uh, testing center, offering the food industry a facility for quality and safety control of food products. Thirdly, a food analysis laboratory as well as a functional foods research center focusing on innovative food product development will be established. In all, the center will consist of two divisions, namely an academic training component and a commercial service division to render contract-based support to the food industry at the reduced costs. In a bigger context, the center will support the achievement of South Africa's commitment to support the United Nations Millennium Development Goals in our region through the development, production, and safety control of food so necessary for eradicating po poverty. This initiative will address the issue of nutrition, which is central to enhancing education success, improving maternal health, and reducing child mortality while improving disease resistance through functional foods development and contributing towards environmental sustainability. <coughs> The physical structure of the center will consist of a totally renovated facility, as well as 1,500 square meters making up the pilot plant. From the university side, we've already availed 40.6 million rand as seed funding for the initial construction work. To bring this facility, which I regard as a national asset, to its full capacity will require a further 25.3 million rand. There's probably likely to be some necessity for equipment and equipment upgrades uh, in the fullness of time. Uh, but also, uh, we, we must understand that South Africa in the global economy uh, is important. We've seen in some countries how uh, problems with food imported creates difficulties. Uh, there's been the problem of uh, powdered milk, for instance. These are the kinds of issues that we must seek to avoid in South Africa. We can only do so if we have state-of-the-art facilities and state-of-the-art training for young people entering the field of food technology. I want to appeal to you, not just as a chancellor of this fine university, but because it makes good food security and safety sense to seriously consider support of this priority project with the potential to enable South Africa to demonstrate our leadership and contribution of real solutions to the international debate on food security and safety. I can think of no better investment opportunity right now. Please join us.